What's up you guys, it's RJ, welcome back to my channel. It's time to get into some more Big Bang. Um, I have really been enjoying checking out their music. It's just been so good, all of it. Even though last week's was, again, by mistake, um, all of them were very, not like the happiest of content. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't plan that, I just, honestly just picked the songs because they were the recommended songs that you guys were leaving in the comments. So I just kind of like, picked random four and I was like, hmm, these sound good. Um, so I did the same thing with this one and someone told me that this was a good lineup as well. So I'm pretty excited, but I hope this is a bit more upbeat um, than the last one because we obviously left off with Still uh, Life and um, that was a very sad song. But again, I hope that I didn't get goodbye vibes from that song. I got like, see you later vibes. We'll be back maybe at some point. Um, but not a, a full-fledged goodbye. Fingers crossed that that is not a goodbye because I will be very sad. I just got into you guys. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> but today, um, again, as we have been doing, checking out four songs today, it's gonna be Bad Boy, Zutter, um, Blue, and Good Boy. Um, and again, I'll be doing the lyric videos in the middle and then explaining my thoughts on the uh, song afterwards. Okay, so we're gonna start with Bad Boy. Uh, I think this is the oldest of the set that I'm checking out today, I think. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Three, two, one, let's go. Uh, baby, come back. Ayo, Charge, drop it on me. I already like this. So G Dragon. I feel like I recognize everyone at this point. I love his whole outfit. I love how he combines the singing and the rapping there. Are they in New York? <laughs> oh, that's a chain. That's cool. I love Top's hair. I like his glove. I love all the fashion choices. They're all so good. Hey, get it. In the middle of the street. <laughs> Are those real tattoos on Taeyang? The vocals though. Hey. 
I kind of can't take my eyes off Taeyeon. <laughs> Maybe it's just because he's in the center doing that. It's the popping. The popping and locking. <laughs> You know what's interesting as well? I, I This is not the vibe I expected from a song called Bad Boy. I expected some type of like, I don't even know how to really describe it, but I don't know. When you think of a song called Bad Boy, you probably think of a more like, uh, what's the word? Like aggressive and I don't know, something very like in your face and expressing that you're a bad boy but then again i don't know the context of the lyrics so that might be the reason for that um so i'm excited to check those out okay so that was definitely a lot different than i would have expected it to be um after reading the lyrics like the music video actually makes a lot more sense the way that it's a lot more on the low-key um not so flashy side that i would have expected it to be based on the title i actually really loved the lyrics of this song like to the way that they explain it is very, very, ah, I guess you can say um, easy to comprehend, and I really appreciate that. I I just appreciate when I can just understand what's going on. No, like there's no confusing what's what's supposed to be like you know received. It just is right in front of you. I also loved this line: um, "Every day and night I'm so mean because I'm so real, so I'm sorry, but I can't change." Um, and then the the more time passes, the more you get to know me, only disappointments will remain. It's like, they they know they're like this. They are who they are. It's like, you, you're you not ready for this. You're not like, th I'm, not, I'm not the guy for you, essentially. But it's interesting to recognize that about yourself and then also still want that person around, but also you're like, okay with them going away because I can't, I can't change who I am for you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I definitely liked that song a lot, for sure. Okay, um, this particular song is Chi Dragon and Top. Um, Zutter? <laughs> I don't know what that means at all, but uh, let's go. <laughs> the way he's walking up to the urinal though. I'm excited to read the lyrics of this. Okay. You know, I don't ever know what to expect from these guys. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What is happening? Oh, poor Don. Bitch, 
줄줄 흐르지 영감의 원천아 나는 나는 누가 봐도 몹시 쩔어 술에 쩔어 데이 펠미의 술이야 쩔어 이 노래 쩔어 I love the beat of this song 내 스타일 쩔어 내가 좀 쩔어 다리 떨어 돈 벌어 하나 걸어 에이 Do you want to know that? Wow, they're they're crazy. Not on him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the first thing I wanted to say I know that the Z sound in Korea is like virtually non-existent so the z is more of a j sound um so it's th that's why i was like i was noticing that they weren't saying zutter it was more like like judder um but also kind of sounded like they were saying cheddar for a moment um so yeah the music video <laughs> uh i'm gonna read the lyrics and i'll come back to you okay <laughs> um First of all, the lyrics of this song, absolute comedy, and I love it. It's so good. I love the way that they play on different, um, not just words, but even just like figures in the world. Like there, I think a top mentioned like Da Vinci at one point, and G Dragon said you can call him G O D, <laughs> and then I'll flip over and you can call me D O G. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, there was a line in here which honestly made sense for the whole like part where he was like basically taking it you know it was great but this part here my bank account is like a pool table so many balls i don't think i understand that part i, I was sitting here trying to like i paused even and i was like what I, I i i'm not i'm not making sense of it in my head my bank account is like a pool table so many balls yeah i don't know but i'm sure somebody in the comments knows what that means um and i'm sure you will tell me and I appreciate you. Yeah, but this was this was such a, a, a I wouldn't call this like a flex song, but this was like a, a talk your your ish type song, and they definitely did it, and that was a lot of fun. Um, the title I, I'm confused about though because I don't know necessarily what it means, um, but maybe the Korean, the real Korean title like makes more sense. Um, so yeah, this was definitely a good time. Okay, let's move right into blue. Let's go. Yo, they're always in America. This is interesting. Does it say baby on the wall? I like his voice too. Yeah, 
The production of this song is very interesting too. Like that sound effect that like, I don't even know how to, what to call that. Was he really sitting on the edge of that building? Vocals, beautiful. They all have such pretty singing voices. So unique. That was a nice pretty song. It was, I wouldn't say it was reminding me of Loser, um, but I think maybe just the, it was probably just the coloring of the music video and the filming of like the location. Some of the locations were making me think of Loser, which is probably, it might be my favorite song that I've heard from them so far, I think. Um, but I, I'm not sorry. I'm not quite sure yet. But let me check out the lyrics of Blue because it looked like it had some really deep meaning. Um, so I'll be back. So yeah, this seemed to be um, like the the end of like a toxic relationship. It seemed like, um, and what essentially comes with that, like having to get over it and always thinking about this other person and dreaming about them. But I mean, their heart is like closed off at this point and. Uh, also, um, there was a particular lyric in here uh, that made me think of Still Life. Yeah, the winter had passed and the spring has come. Didn't they talk about this in that song? Um, there was a reference to the seasons, and I almost feel like it was essentially just like this. <laughs> um, but I don't have Still Life like queued up, so I can't go back and look. But I, it just, I read that and I was like, wait a second, why don't I feel like I've heard that before? Unless they're just similar, which is also a possibility. Um, but yeah, I was just curious about that. But listening to the song a second time as well, I it made me really enjoy the um, the beat of the song. And especially when G-Dragon comes in with that, I'm singing my blues. Um, it's just so like, I don't know, it's not a happy song, but it still makes you kind of want to move to it, which is a very interesting um, feeling. <laughs> All right, let's, we're moving on to the final song on this, this ride here, which is G-Dragon and Taeyang, Good Boy. So. I don't think there's any captions, there's never any captions, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, let's go. Put your hands in the air. How you feeling out there? We can party a little Is that his hair lit up like that? Wow, their music videos are always so interesting to look at. Oh. Oh, DDR. Hey, hey, 
Oh, I missed DDR. <laughs> wow, this beat though. But again, the fashion though. The hair is very interesting. It almost sounds like a video game. <laughs> I can already tell with some really good speakers, this song goes hard. That's gonna be really catchy. Oh, this part is so cool. Ooh. I love the dancing. This is so cool, but I don't know why this is like making me think of... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. If you've seen Bootylicious, <laughs> Destiny's Child, you know what I'm talking about. It's like one scene. Their voices together. <laughs> what was like filming this part? Looked like the neon lights, the black lights, rather. Like, I wonder what color um, G Dragon's hair actually was for it to shine that color. Because I can't figure out, I can't figure out what the other side of it would be. Because obviously Taeyong's hair was white, and that would no doubt shine like that, like it would, like the, everyone's clothes did. So that would be really interesting. I don't know, because it couldn't have been that brown. That wouldn't have done that. That wouldn't have been that color, unless it was just like highlighter green, and that's that's the color that it was when he went in. Okay, so I'm gonna read the lyrics, but I kind of feel like I have an idea of what the song is about. But let's go. You know, it's actually kind of funny that I have this song with Bad Boy because um, in a way, both of the lyrics are kind of total opposites of each other. Um, it, especially in like the vibe of the song, I think Bad Boy is definitely much more of a like, you know, I'm not going to change. I am who I am. This is me like should probably get away from me type of vibe. And this one is like, at least in the context of the lyrics, it's almost kind of painting this different idea of what people may perceive of them. And I liked how um, Taeyong's line led into the chorus, the like, I am a good boy. Um, but before that, he was talking about like, you know, people say, don't trust guys like him. Like, but what do they know about me essentially? But then to have the, I am a good boy go into that like really hard beat afterwards almost feels like there is an underlyingness behind the good boy exterior. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's almost like, Inside, they're not necessarily a good boy, but they present themselves that way, which is why they're a bad boy, like the other song. 
Very interesting though, I don't know. It's always fun reading their lyrics. It's fun to like interpret what the song might be about. Um, just from like, you know, different perspectives. Like I feel like a lot of times lyrics are very interesting to interpret, even if they're like pretty straightforward. It's always fun to get different perspectives from different people. Um, but I always have a good time reading their lyrics. I feel like I'm never bored when I listen to like Big Bang's like songs and reading their lyrics. They're always talking about something very interesting. So I really appreciate that about them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.